Hello and welcome to a little tutorial on how to install the ENB mod for the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion correctly. Well, first there are some things that we'll need to manage. Um, that is to enable HDR in the uh, settings menu, and that's like. And then we need to install and learn how to use the Oblivion script extender, and you know, if you have these two things, you'll start modding. So the first thing we'll need to do is to download the original ENB for Oblivion from the ENB site. Um, use version one, no, use version zero point point um, one hundred and eighty one. Just click download it, and then this little download button right here. So it'll download that and you need to know where your Oblivion is installed. I have a well single hard disk just for Oblivion so you open the file path and after finishing downloading you open the zip folder you need to use 7-zip or WinRAR or I don't know like any program and uh, now you'll find the injector and the wrapper version um, use the wrapper version because like it will work with with both of them, but the most EMBs use the wrapper version, and you know, like things will become glitchy and stuff like that if you use the injector version. So, no normal mods, you'll install them by going into the, your data folder and just like dragging the things in here. But some kind of different with the EMB modification, so you don't have to take these things into your data folder, just here where your oblivion.exe is located so you'll take the wrapper version and just drag dr drag and drop all of these things in here I've done that already and I don't want to do it uh, a second time because that will probably screw up my oblivion installation more so yeah after doing that um, we you have now like the EMB modification installed and your game will look fabulous and I don't know so but we want to download some user user configs on that, like what other ENB users did. So we go to the oblivion.nexusmod.com webs page and go to um, visuals and graphics, and then we just search here for E E N V, and we'll get off all of these ENBs. Like let's just say we're going to use the tweaked ENB. That's the one that I use. So, yeah, description, blah blah blah. Here it says use the wrapper version. So, now we just go download it um, from any server that you want. Um, so, after that is finished, it shouldn't take that long. Um, we have these, put these files in your Oblivion folder. So, don't put these in your data folder, put these in, your, in the same folder that is like the Oblivion exe, so we'll just open that folder and put everything in here inside that Oblivion folder and if it says like do you want to overwrite these files just click the yes so and yeah that's basically it and now I'll just show a little in-game scene and what you can do in game with like modifying it and stuff so the first thing that you'll notice when being in game is that little text in the upper left corner like press shift and enter keys to show editor and like what ENB version you have installed so when you're in game and your game looks something like this like you know looks nice um, then you might have done everything correct um, like the look depends on which user config of the ENB modification you have installed and well now you can press the shift and K to like you know edit the ENB or own like you can deactivate the effect which will give your frame rate a huge boost of like of like up to like 200 frames with OT EMB and like with the EMB I hang around like 20 all the time well, so yeah and you'll be able to like switch on and off all of these things like bloom, depth of field, ambient occlusion and so and so and so so yeah 
that's basically it. Um, I'm sorry for the frame rate lag right now. Um, so yeah, that's it. And I hope I could help you. And yeah.